Hey YouTube, this is the Ghost with GhostlyX.com, and I've got something truly special for you today. Uh, I know it's been a long, long time since I've released any videos. It's due to massive research that I've been doing, uh, doing a little bit of schooling for myself, been running the new website, handling the forums, uh, up and down Hack Mac. Just, uh, I'm sure that some of you have seen me around. So what I have planned for you today is what you see in front of you is an unlocked MacBook Air. This was sent to me by Drug Starry from Hack Mac Forums, and he sent it to me to unlock the EFI password. If you don't know what the EFI password is, I'm going to throw up a picture of it now. If you are inflicted with this type of issue, um, it used to be not so easy to get around, but nowadays it's a little bit easier and easier. There's been a couple people that have been monopolizing the market as far as things you can do to bypass it. Usually on a MacBook Pro what you can do is hook up to um, an 8-pin IC and uh, or an 8-pin chip and just flash it with uh, the new firmware but you had to modify the old firmware first. Sometimes that wasn't the case and you had to get clean firmware from different places. Now you can go to my website which I have a repository of firmware for me to choose from. I don't have all of them, but it's growing. More people that come uh, involved with the community and are handing me more of their firmware from their MacBooks. Uh, it's, it's becoming larger and larger. Anyways, so the MacBook Airs are a bit problematic because they have a BGA chip, which means it's a ball grid array. You can't just clip to it with something like this. Let me go ahead and grab some of this stuff and put it over here. This is what I use to do my flashing with. It looks pretty scary right now just because it's prototyping and it's on a breadboard. But this is how you would interface with the 8-pin chip on a MacBook Pro. It's a Pomona clip, 8-pin, and this will just clip right on top of it. You would run some commands through Flash ROM, dump it, modify it, or get new firmware, and then flash it back to the MacBook Pro. And then it would uh, essentially bypass the, or remove the necessity for the uh, EFI firmware lock. Without the EFI firmware lock password, you can't just reinstall Mac OS X. There's just no way that you can do it. Well, I take that back. Um, I have one of these guys on my forums, Token Paul. He's figured out a way that you actually can bypass it. Well, you can circumvent the password, not bypass it, but circumvent the password in order to reinstall and use the Mac. But if you ever need to do something, you would have to modify the hard drive, take it out, put it back in, all that kind of good stuff. So that's a good workaround for it. But if you really want to get past the password, uh, the EFI password, with a firmware lock. These are some things that you have to do. I've got a tutorial up and I'm actually going to show you guys uh, another video. Actually, I'm going to do another video on how to remove um, once you've got clipped up and you've tested the connection, how to remove the password. I'm going to go step by step um, using the Raspberry Pi, which is the setup I have here. Just a uh, wireless dongle because I connect through SSH. Raspberry Pi B plus. It's a B, I think. Just a B, not a B plus. And I have this breadboarded out just for the 3.3 volt connection. And this is who I will not name's clip that allows you to clip to the MacBook Air. And this is an easy way for you to flash the MacBook Air with his tool. So this was donated to me for a little bit of research along with the tool. And instead of reverse engineering the tool and doing what I would normally do just to kind of blow this guy out of the water because I hate people who keep knowledge, something I think should be free for everyone, um, he keeps it to himself. He offered no help and he's selling just this little clip. Let me just show you again how small this tiny little clip is. And if anybody makes IC or makes uh, boards, then you should know that this board costs nothing. He sells just this little board minus the wires just this little board for 100 US dollars alright so he's the only person known today to have a MacBook Air clip so you can interface with the uh, basically do ISP in-system programming to the board and to the EFI chip to remove the EFI password well coming full circle just to let you guys know I have gone ahead and I have replicated 
a clip that can do the exact same thing. It's fairly similar to his and it has the exact same pinout. What we have here is just a simple 3M header with a C and K switch. It's DP uh, DS, so it's double pole, double. Um, well, am I saying that wrong? I, I, I'm not an electronics guy, so kind of bear with me. It's uh, uh, who cares? It's got two different positions basically, so I can switch the entire pinout of here. Well, I can switch whatever's connected to it, the pinout of whatever's connected to it. And as you can see, this is. Let's see if I can get it to focus. This is the MacBook Air Easy Flash by the Ghost at Ghosty X. This is revision one. Had a couple problems with it. Some drill size, drill holes uh, weren't so weren't exactly what they should have been because of the square post. So I've got revision two on its way. And here's the back side. Here's a little tiny clip. It's a Molex uh, mezzanine connector that'll connect to the um, MacBook Air board. And I'll show you on the back of this MacBook Air here um, what it looks like and how you can interface with it. Because what you would traditionally have to do is pull out the board and you would have to, or the logic board, you would have to pull out the logic board, you would have to flip it over, you would have to scratch back the traces that lead to the BGA chip, and then you would have to uh, flash it that way after you soldered the wires to it. But no more you're going to have to do that and you're not going to have to pay $100 because these right here I'm going to sell for 30 bucks. I mean I think that's a pretty fair price um, considering that I have to have these manufactured and some of the parts such as that small piece right there, that uh, small mezzanine connector is going to have to be soldered uh, not by hand. I can't do it by hand. I've done this one by hand but I prefer not to and especially not if I'm going to be selling them. I'm going to have them manufactured. So that's good news for you guys. Hopefully you guys are uh, going to enjoy this and hopefully this is going to just completely take down his, his marketability of his $100 clips. So let's move on real quick. I'm going to flip it over and we're going to take a look on the inside. And he can contest to this. I'm sure he'll comment on the video that he sent this to me locked. And I'm going to raise it up. If you start to see there's a small header right there. Look at the size of it to my thumbnail. It's a small header that you can interface. There's 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 nothing that's connected to it so we kind of just started investigating it and uh, pulled some sources together and figured out what, what it's for. Um, Caden Tech really helped out a lot by marketing his clip for a hundred bucks and pissed everybody off. So that small little header, all you have to do is clip the clip to it while it's connected to your ISP or uh, programmer of choice, bus pirate, whatever you have you, whatever have you. Clip it to it like that, and then start the flash process with flash ROM. That's it. So, removing this, just to show you again. GhostlyHacks.com, MBA, or MacBook Air Easy Flash. It's on sale for 30 bucks. What I'm going to do with this is I'm going to raffle these prototypes off, and that will help raise the money for the manufacturing of the new ones. Considering these are a hell of a lot cheaper than his, hopefully these will just go ahead and sell or be raffled, or you guys can get in a bidding war, whatever you want to do. If you don't buy them, it's no sweat off my back. I have one. I actually have two, so I have three of my own, plus uh, Caden Tech, so it's, it's not a big uh, deal. Well, I kind of screwed up and said his name, so Caden Tech is the one. If you go to his site, he has a uh, he has not only the clip for 100 bucks, but a license. You get three licenses, five licenses, ten, whatever it is for um, bypassing the EFI on your Mac. So if you want to do that and, and follow along behind everybody else, jump on the bandwagon and spend your money that you don't need to spend, you can go right ahead or you can buy a Raspberry Pi or use the one that you have laying around and a couple strategically you know purchase clips to bypass the EFI firmware anyways uh, that wraps up this video and I guess the premiere of this uh, MacBook Air clip I uh, hope you guys enjoyed it and uh, I guess you'll be seeing more of me very soon